The first thing that's important to know is that while many people are interested slash obsessed with what they eat, the data that's come out of animal studies at least is it's far more important when you eat than what you eat. And this was a, a fantastic study a few years ago by my friend Rafael Da Cabo at the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda. And he had 10,000 mice on different diets, hoping to find the perfect mix of carbs, protein, and fat. And it turns out that the only ones that lived longer were the ones that only ate once a day. And so that, if we're, we're not mice, but I think that we're close enough to mice that this tells us a lot. Okay, but I still think the best bang for the longevity buck is to do both well. Eat less often and eat the right things. Now, I'll preface this to say I'm not a nut about this. I will eat occasional, very occasionally a dessert. Usually I steal from others. I also have found my microbiome right now is, and stomach is at a point where if I try to overeat on a steak, which I did a couple of days ago, I actually had a, a, a chicken, uh, a fried chicken specifically. Uh, for two days, I felt terrible. I couldn't sleep. It wouldn't go down. So I'm now at a point where even if I want to binge on meat and fried foods, I, I just can't. It just feels bad. Um, but what, what do I recommend? Well, what the data says, which I try to follow, is uh, that plant-based foods will, will be better than meat-based foods. And I know that there are a lot of people who disagree. But one of the facts is, well, there's a few facts. One is that people who live a long time tend to eat those type of diets, Mediterranean, Okinawa diet. They're eating mostly plants with a little bit of meat and not a lot of red meat. Uh, and the other fact is that in animals, we know that there's a there's a mechanism that's called mTOR, little m, capital T-O-R, that responds to certain amino acids that are found in more abundance in meat. And when it responds, it actually shortens lifespan. And the converse, if you starve it of those three amino acids, uh, in mostly in meat, then it extends lifespan. And there, there's a drug called rapamycin, which some people are experimenting with, that does that. So you might be able to, you know, I'm just saying this here from all, all my colleagues, we don't know the results here, but you could potentially take a rapamycin-like drug and counteract the effects of meat on, in the long run. Don't know, we should try that actually, we could do that in the lab. But uh, getting to the bottom of this, what I think is going on is that just like testosterone and growth hormone, you will get temporary, maybe not temporary, um, immediate health benefits. You'll feel great, you'll get more muscle, energy, but the problem is, I think it's at the expense of long-term health and longevity.